Hello and welcome back to Lounging with John. Hello everyone. Hopefully all is doing good on this wonderful day. Um, it's been a little bit since I've had a podcast up or videos. I uh, got some stuff we're trying to get taken care of here on the personal side of things. Um, the net had been down and it's still down. So... I'm having to do this through the podcast to at least get it up to you guys and, uh, you know, keep things going here. So that is what we're doing. Um, want to give a shout out to Jerry, Jerry slash my blind mama's messy kitchen. Hopefully you're doing good today. And, uh, I know you've been busy as well. You got kids and going back to school and all that. So. I definitely know how busy that can keep us. And then, of course, I have been really busy, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, getting everything situated with school, getting my classes taken care of. Um, I tell you, it's it's a lot. All right, let's see here. I'm just looking for something here, guys. Where's it at? Bear with me, guys. Here it is. I love, totally just love this song. I, I love the the meaning behind it, but I not the one playing now, but I'm going to switch to it here and let it play in the background as I continue to talk to you guys. Don't, 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 don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> All right, let's... Love the song. Love that song. Anyways, um, something that I, that I think is really cool is even though going through the process of doing all these different things, getting you know prepared for college, um, you know there's a lot to it, and I think some people might assume that you know it's just as easy as you know just go sign up and you're good to go, but it's definitely not just that simple. I mean, there's a lot to it. Um, if you don't have any, you know, scholarships already waiting on you or you don't have the money, uh, on your own and stuff, you've got to go and you've got to do your FAFSA for your, uh, federal assistance, um, to get financial aid and all that set up. And I'll tell you what, that is probably, I would say out of all of it is getting your financial aid, you know, everything done on that. And especially if it's your first time ever doing it. Okay. I had, you know, there's, there's just, it's not hard. It's just, there's a lot to it. You have to, you know, do your stuff online. Um, you've got to create your account. You've got to get a, uh, code with the uh, government, you know, the federal government online. Um, you've got to fill out your tax information. So if you've ever worked, 
you've got to, you know, you've got to get documents for that. If you've not worked, um, you know, it's, it's not too complicated. You just got to um, submit a form and then uh, once that's submitted, then you're good. Um, and then you've got, you know, once you, once you get that part done, then, you know, you got your other things you got to do for your, for your college. You got to get with your, uh, advisor. You've got to get with, uh, someone with your classes, someone with your, doing your loans. Um, and to get the loans, it's not just as simple as just, all right, I'm gonna go get my loans. You got to fill out a form online, and then once you do that, you also got to take a online financial course. Now, it doesn't take that long. I I completed it in like 30, 40 minutes. Just a lot of stuff you got to read, and then it's got some questions in there you got to answer. Um, but then once you do that, you know, it's good to go. And so then once you do that, Once all that's been done and approved, your financial aid's approved, all this stuff, then you get with your advisor to set up your classes, to figure out what you're going to take, what classes you need to start out doing. Um, And so, for my first semester, guys, I will say that it's probably going to be my easiest semester. I I think I'm going to fly through this one easier than probably any of the other semesters that I'm going to have. And at first I thought, man, it's going to take me forever, but I got to looking at it. You know, I've got the fall semester, I've got spring, and if I want to stay on the the wheel and keep going, I've got summer, and then Back to fall. Back to spring. Back to summer. So, it's really not that far away. I mean, two years seems like a long ways, but it's really not. And, anyways, um, my first semester is, is pretty darn simple. And I'm going to recommend this to anybody. If you are just now going to college it's your first time and that's another reason that you know I put this podcast together was to hopefully help you know other people see that you know it's it's not that bad and that you should go for it um, but we'll talk about that in a little bit um, if it's your first time going you really should take the uh, beginner college course which it's only a class that, you know, helps you on learning different study strategies and uh, how to set schedules and how to stay on course and all this stuff. So I've got to take that class. And then I'm taking two English classes. I'm going to be taking, um, I'm also doing a, I'm doing a brush up class. And then, of course, I'm going to do English 111, um, which I understand. It's, it's, you know, you need to be able to, with me, my weakness, and, and hands down, I don't care to admit it, my weakness is spelling and my typing as far as, you know, putting punctuation where it needs to be and stuff like that. And I love to write, so it's not like, you know... Uh, it's not like I hate writing because I don't. I love writing. I like writing poetry. I like writing stories. Um, I wish I could find the story that I wrote a long time ago. I never did complete it. And it was, I mean, it was a long story. I, gosh, it was years ago. But, um, so for my first semester, I have three classes, and that's not so bad. Uh, I go to class on Tuesdays, and I go to class on Thursdays. Um, but I am a full-time student. Uh, I am for, uh, you know, I'm in for full-time. Uh, for this semester, I'll get seven credits. Um, two of my classes are three credits each, and then 
the college beginner class is only one credit, but that's seven credits that I'm earning right there. Um, and then I'm going to talk to you about something else, and some of you might worry about it, you know, when you when you go to do it, but I'm going to talk to you about it, and that is your AccuPlacer. Um, here's how that works. The AccuPlacer is to let the college know, you know, where you're at, at your levels. For reading, you're going to have three things that you're going to do with an AccuPlace test. Your reading, and your, uh, your reading comprehension, and your writing, okay? Um, when you do those, those are not bad at all. The math, the math is, well, for me, it was tough. Because with me not being able to see, there was a lot of questions that you needed to uh, look at, like, different graphs and stuff like that. And when I did my AccuPlacer, everything was read to me because uh, they didn't have a standalone screen reader. So hopefully you don't run into that situation where well, you might not need a screen reader at all. Um, but if you do, uh, hopefully you don't run into no, you know, problems like that. Um, anyways, the math is, is pretty tough. But most classes, not all of them, but most, almost anything that you go into in college, you've got to have... You, you've got to take a math course. And I'm just... Uh, I'm already dreading taking a math college course. That is going to be hell. But... I'm going to do it. And I'm going to... And the way I see it... I would love to get A's in all my classes. But if I can just get through my math with the, with the average... With the C... A C average... Then that's fine. Because um, you need to remember this... Whatever you choose for your career, it's going to have a requirement for what, you know, you, you need to pass college with. Um, some might, you know, some might be a 2.0, uh, you know, others might be a 3.0, um, so... Pay attention to what the requirement is on what you need to have on your scoring when you graduate, to graduate. Like, I think with what I'm doing is is a 2.0 required. Okay? So, which is fine. As long as you get through college with C's, you know, you, you can do that, but... Me, I'm, I, I really want to do the best I can. I don't want to, you know, and I don't want to, you know, if you're going through college, don't just go in with the attitude as well, as long as I get C's on everything, I'm, you know, who cares. Do your best. I mean, I'm going to do my best, but I know for a fact on math, I'm not going to do that good um, because of certain situations. One, I don't know Braille in math, so... That makes it complicated for me. Because I have to do everything by just hearing it. You know, I, I, I have to use, uh, you know, a talking calculator and my head, and that's it. Take away the paper because I, I can't do it. So, yeah. I And I, and I might, more than likely, I'll, I'll tell you, if you run into any kind of situation like that to where you know it's going to be a class you're going to have a lot of trouble with, Get a tutor. Get an assistant to help you. That way they can at least write the problems down for you as you're going through the answering and the problem solving. Okay? Um, but, you know, it's, it's exciting to go back to school. It's exciting to, you know, go in because you know that you're, you're getting closer to your goal, to your career goal, you know? 
And so, it's, um, I think it's just a really good thing. And you're going to feel good. You are. But I'll tell you, it's, <laughs> walking through that school, the, the last few times that I've done it, it just felt really weird. I'm like, I, I feel like a teenager again. I don't know, it just, it brings something back out of you. You know? I, I don't know. But, if any of you guys ever have questions about any of that, if you're someone that, you know, is thinking about going back to college and you need a little support, uh, I'm here for you. Leave a comment, whatever you got to do, okay? And, I, and I'll be glad to talk to you. So, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, I'm going to be getting back on video here soon. There's just some stuff going on here. We don't, we don't have the net right now. Um, so I'm happy to do it this way because it's easier to upload through my podcast and trying to upload an actual full flesh video. So shout out to Blue Wings, Jerry, all you guys out there, a deadly gamer, all you guys. Um, and for those of you that, that want to keep on leaving these stupid comments, I mean, go ahead, but you, you're just making yourself look really foolish. You know, you really are. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe, all that, and uh, I'll talk to you guys here later on. Glad I could get back up here and hang out with you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll talk to you soon.